yeah hopefully it will be all sorted out I know you guys have all been asking when are you guys gonna get residency what's going on with it give us some updates well this is where it's at so we really appreciate all you guys um, concern uh, care uh, about the situation it's been really heartwarming and uh, Yeah, we hope we'll have uh, some really good news for you guys soon. Alright, so we're just off to the doctors today to go get some uh, forms, certificates for our application for residency here. Um, hopefully this is the end of it. It's been a bit of a run around, but uh, hopefully we'll pass the worst of it. Oh, it's a hot day. We got the car started to kind of cool it down and... <gasps> Whoa! That is glorious. My seat is cold. So that was pretty easy. We've been into the doctor, gotten the certificate that we need, and now we're off to the med commission to get the rest of everything done. And hopefully that will go as smoothly as this did. So let's go. We've uh, just finished inside the migration center, doing our, uh, finishing the children's medicals. It went pretty smoothly. I think it wasn't even an hour we were there. We had to wait for a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. It's air conditioned in, air conditioned in there, so um, that makes it a little bit more pleasant. But yeah, it was pretty good we had to give we had to do some blood tests but thankfully they let Nate take uh, um, give the blood for that because uh, we we're a little bit worried that you know it's a fair bit of blood they're going to take for you know from a little baby so that was good they wouldn't actually let us <laughs> give it from the baby anyway um, so that was Anita being brave taking one for the team that was good while we were in there we actually met um, one of you guys, one of you guys that's uh, a viewer, I can't remember his name, uh, from Iran, and uh, yeah, it's uh, that was pretty special. Um, it's always nice to meet you guys. Uh, we actually, we've actually met quite a few in the last couple of days. So yeah. Now it's, uh, I think we've got three days to wait to pick up the, we get the results in three days, and then we can finish the application for residency uh, next week sometime. So we are back at the migration centre um, three days ago uh, we went and did the test and stuff and now we're just here to uh, receive the results which uh, I've already gone in there and uh, gotten so now we're just about to leave. So it was pretty easy. Um, there was a little bit of a problem but we got it sorted out so yeah Next uh, step is to hand the forms in, which will happen on Monday. So, the day is finally here. We are finally putting our application for um, MVP. I would say it's summer, but it's kind of raining today. So we're just hopping in the car, 
can go there and uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly. We're going to give all the documents in today and uh, then we just got to wait for an answer. So it's been a big build up to this day um, for you know getting all the documents ready and stuff, all the medicals, language test which we did two years ago <laughs> before COVID. So yeah, big day. Grandpa helping get everybody in the car. There's me. So we're just waiting for our turn to come up. Got here a little bit early. So we're on our way home, we're stuck in a traffic jam. They reckon the next two kilometers is gonna take us 20 minutes to uh, drive through. So um, yeah. We've just been to the, uh, what do you call it, the migration centre to give our documents in, but there was a few mistakes. Um, <clears throat> some of the things we filled out were a little bit incorrect, we've got to fix them. But then uh, they wrote our names down wrong on the certificate at the med commission, at the medical centre, uh, where we had to do our, get our medical certificates. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go back and get those changed. Um, we also had to pay uh, for something at the bank. You can't pay there, you have to go to the bank and pay. Uh, and then bring back the receipt with your name on it. So we've done that now. So tomorrow we'll get our fingerprints done and all the medical certificates hopefully filled out properly. And, because uh, one of them didn't even have the date on it. They got the name right, they put the wrong, they didn't put the date on it. So, what's going on there. Anyway, we'll get that done and then on Monday we've got another um, appointment and hopefully everything's all good then. So now we're on our way home and stuck in traffic. All right, so we're just here at the um, at the place where we did the medicals, and um, yeah, we're about to go get the forms um, corrected so that the name's correct on there and the dates are on. And uh, with them, we're gonna do fingerprints and stuff. So we're heading there pretty soon. So we've done fingerprints, and we're trying. We're waiting for. Uh, getting the documents uh, changed, the name was wrong, um, even though we asked them to change it. When I checked it, it was still wrong, so we're waiting in line here. And we'll see what happens. She's been sleeping very well. So we're just at a kind of like a lunch bar sort of thing. We've um, managed to get all our documents and stuff uh, sorted out so far as much as it is possible um, fingerprints and getting the medical certificates uh, um, fixed they uh, put our names down wrong so that's all done now and now we're just waiting for a bit of lunch it's quite late so there's like a little shop just down here um, little kiosk little lunch bar sort of thing this is like all um, mechanics and stuff through here, workshops, and um, they make it fresh here, so that's pretty neat. It's about, uh, I think they said 
It was 150 rubles per shawarma, um, which is like a kebab or uh, like a grilled wrap sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get that and then we can go home. And on Monday, we will hopefully give everything in and uh, that should be the end of it. We should, then it's just waiting basically from there, so. Yeah, things are moving along. Um, looking forward to Monday and having it mostly over. So, we've got the whole game together. We've got, uh, we've got a uh, Russian guy, barely Russian, Russian homestead girl, the rest of the family all here. And uh, we're waiting for Shaman to be ready. Well, the people have asked, and unfortunately, we get to show them today. It's not often, I wouldn't say it that much more often than in Australia, or at least Perth. But here is what looks like a crash. We'll do that with something passed out, we'll see in a second. We've got an ambulance. No, they've just stopped here. Somebody's had a heart attack or passed out or something. No crash. Oh, well, that's good. I wonder what they're there for then. busy cutting up cake ready for our trip hopefully this is the last one we have to do for a while submitting all the documents for residency got a little cooler bag of goodies I'm gonna head out to the car just out here waiting for mummy oh look there she is we can go now Get the baby, then into the car. All right, let's go.
yeah, so anyway, I've got the um, applications put in and uh, I've got the little piece of paper that uh, kind of proves that. So, Josh and Sabrina have gotten their applications in too now yeah. and uh, so we can go home now. Let's go. So, we successfully put in all the applications, we've got our little receipt and uh, now it's just a waiting game. Um, it's, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, what's going to happen in the next couple of months and uh, it's exciting but yeah, not over yet. celebratory meal yep we have put the documents in and we are having dinner at the cafe this is actually a little bit of a what would you call it we used to always come here um, you know if we've gone out to do something or whatever we'd come back here we'd have lunch or something we'd have a uh, we've been here a couple of times with friends been here with um, mom and dad josh and sabrina a couple of times and uh, this is actually the first time we've been here since we've been back, so it's going to be quite, um, yeah, it's kind of a special moment, I guess, in a different kind of way. But yeah, nice to uh, kind of wrap everything up here. 